Hello everybody and welcome back to the FM24 Youth Academy Challenge and it's the favourite day of the season. It's Youth Intake Day and there's some more news to report on as well. Let's dive in and have a look. Yes, hello fellow managers, welcome back and you will notice that we are fifth in the table with a game in hand that if we win we will go fourth with seven games to play. We are very much making it known to the Spanish footballing world that we want to break into that top four and be there for quite a while. And we've actually been playing some pretty good football. Um, yeah, all in all, it's, it's been really good fun, actually. Champions League knockouts, we did. Uh, we, we got through from Schalke. We played AC Milan. The 2-2 draw in the first leg was impressive and quite a good game. We went and... But when I say battered them, we won 1-0. But we played really well, and we got a man sent off in the 64th minute. I'm telling you, learning what you can do against the opposition with how they're doing roles and stuff is crucial to Football Manager this year. So if you're not doing that, please do learn how to do it. Um, we lost to Real Madrid 3-0. That's always going to happen. They're just better than us. We lost to Barcelona 3-1. That's not too bad, to be honest. They're just that much better than us. We beat Sevilla 2-1. And we've just played Barcelona in the Champions League quarterfinals and lost 1-0. So we're not completely out of that one yet. But of course, we weren't coming back for those games. We're coming back because it's youth intake day. We have one bit of unread mail in the corner. And... Well, we all know what that is, don't we? It's youth intake. And I'm excited because in the little preview thing you get, which I know is bollocks normally, but that little preview thing, we had an A rating for a goalkeeper, A rating for striker, and an A rating for centre mid. I just punched my mic, so I apologise about that. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what we get. But overall, this season has been incredibly good. Um, yeah, fifth in La Liga, 54 points from 30 games so far. Champions League, we've got to the quarterfinals, and we're only 1-0 down after the first leg against Barcelona. Yeah, the Copa del Rey. It's these two, isn't it? These are the two that define whether the competition or the, 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 the save has been a success or not. Um, yeah, and I know there's going to be people that are commenting to say, well, you've got the in-game editor, of course you're cheating. If you've been around here long enough, you know I don't cheat. You know that is never a thing. The in-game editor is here because I use it on stream to go and do a new gen save where the subs, uh, the subscribers to the channel on Twitch get their name in the game. It's really good fun. Come and watch it. Twitch.tv forward slash cultured left foot. But uh, yeah, that's why that's on. I don't use it in this game. There you go. Uh, right. Youth intake day. Here we go. Awesome. Our annual youth candidate intake has arrived for assessment. They're lift led by the very gifted Pedro Morea, who is a striker. Interesting. Uh, they've got a real chance to develop into a golden generation for the club. So we have four elite talents. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, top talents. Three good talents and three decent talents. We have a Moroccan in there, a Lithuanian. Uh, they're all Spanish and Spanish and Spanish. So... Okay, not too bad. A Moroccan and a Lithuanian, not bad. Very quickly then, we're going to look at these guys. Antonio Alfaro is a left back. A uh, good bit of pace, decisions, determination, bravery, positioning, technique. Yeah, not bad. His technicals are a little bit weak. Um, but yeah, and I've had comments to be like, don't look at the star ratings. Zealand's done the video to not judge the star ratings. I, I take everything into account. Don't worry, I try and look at everything. Personality technical attributes and the star ratings as well i do take it all on board but yes i do understand they are a level of ratings they're not just yes he is definitely two star and certain potentials mean this so yeah well anyway right um but technically it doesn't look too bad left footed six foot for a left back is pretty decent 16 years old um yeah well okay okay for antonio alfaro Next up, the Moroccan, Khalid El Jorfi. Uh, again, pace 11, acceleration's a bit low, but aggressive, determined, flair, work rate, technique is decent. Crossing 8, dribbling 7, not bad as a starting right winger. Needs to up his off the ball. 5 foot 7, he's a fickle personality, but a technical player, 16 years old. Only 2 star potential, but we'll see how it goes. He has got quite a number of pros in here, though. Can improve a lot in the future. A committed player that gives all of his cause. Works really hard for the team. Versatile. 
uh, second nationality, uh, but tends to be fickle. He's got, uh, can educate his off-the-ball movement further and needs a higher game intelligence and is not of the right standard and has a competitive streak, which I don't mind, to be honest. But yeah, not too bad. Right, next up, we have a Hugo on the left. Again, two-star potential. Uh, resolute leader. Yeah, he's probably getting a contract. Uh, pace, 11. Fitness, 12. Acceleration, 12. Aggression, 12. Determination, 17. Flair, 13. Work rate, 11. Technique, 12. Crossing, 9. He does look like a very good left winger. Uh, or could potentially be a very good left winger. Pace is already there. He's got very good determination. Flair to beat a man. Good work rate. Good technique. And decent crossing at 9 at the age of 16. He probably will get a deal, Hugo, I think. Uh, and... He has a good personality because he's resolute. He's very consistent. Lots of room to grow. Fair amount of pace. Uh, his ability to do the unexpected helps. Versatile. Uh, he just needs to improve his heading. And what else has he got there? Lacked game intelligence. Well, you never know. Hugo, as a, a, a like a half a star player right now, looked pretty decent. Into the good talents then. We'll start with Simas Jujonas as the Lithuanian centre-back. Uh, so a two and a half star potential fickle leader, tackling 13, teamwork 18, work rate 14, leadership 13, determination 11, aggression 16, jumping reach 14, six foot six, sign him up. Um, he's got a little bit lacking physically, but I think that could grow pretty well. Uh, marking a heading a again, it's not, it's not dreadful, is it? It's really not dreadful. The money that the board have put into the training facilities and stuff is really paying off. 15 years old, so it does have that extra year on some of the other cohort as well. Uh, works well within a team, lots of room to grow, a committed player that gives all of his cause, but uh, he yeah, tends to be fickle, not consistent, needs to improve his passing, uh, not very versatile, and a fairly slow player. So... Again, I actually don't think he's too bad, and he could grow into something useful for, you know, squad player, maybe first team, who knows, but squad player or the B team. I do think there's some options there for Simas. Um, I think so far, everyone's getting a deal so far. Uh, right back, Jorge Diaz, one star currently, two and a half star potential, so Jorge or Jorge Diaz. The immediate thing I looked at was a bit slow, pace seven, but... Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, crossing 10, that's good. Tackling 12, technique 12, work rate 11, teamwork 15, decisions 11, bravery 13, aggression 15, acceleration 11, fitness 18, and stamina 11. So not dreadful, really not dreadful. Determination at 9, I'd prefer that to be... I'd like now we're at a certain level. I'd really like determination to be at 10 starting off. Concentration I think needs to be a bit higher as well. But overall... Not looking too bad. Uh, he's naturally fit. Lots of room to grow. Personality is balanced and normal. Committed player. Uh, versatile. Uh, what's that? Not the greatest jumping reach. Yeah, with three. And needs to be taught how to be an aer effective aerial presence. Right. Fair enough. Um, but again, as a fullback, you're not really too worried about that. If it was a centre-back and he had that, I'd be concerned. But another one. Not looking too dreadful. To be honest, George Diaz. Next up, left midfielder or attacking midfield left as well. Juan Jo. Uh, half a star currently, two and a half star potential. We had a quick look at his stats there. But a spirited leader, 15 years old. Pace 8, acceleration 12, balance 14, fitness 13, aggression 11, determination 15, leadership 14, teamwork 12, technique 11, first touch 13, crossing 12. Okay, so he's got acceleration and balance, which are really good for wingers. Agility at 10 isn't dreadful either. He can cross. He's got a great first touch. His technique is good. He works hard for the team, and he's very determined. Again, I think he's going to get a deal. I think he could grow into something useful. Passing, not too bad. Likes to curl the ball as well. You don't see that very often. That's Because you can't teach that trait, curls ball, I don't think. Um, so that is very... Very good. I do like I do like where this is going. Spirited individual, which is great. Uh, lots of room to grow. Fair amount of pace. Uh, ability to maintain his balance under pressure. But what have we got in the negatives? Uh, needs to refine his positional sense. Uh, better job when marking. A competitive streak. Not at the right level and not consistent. But again, I think, honestly, so far, 
so very, very good. And we're only just getting into the top talents. First up, midfield center or attacker midfield center. Salvador is a one-star current ability, three and a half star potential player. It's really good just to see the yellow on the board. Maybe it's because I'm playing that game in Singapore. I think everyone is just dreadful. But uh, yeah, not bad at all. An unambitious leader. Uh, decisions, flair, leadership, teamwork, all looking very good. Acceleration, agility, fitness and pace all up there as well. Dribbling first touch, 9 and 10. Technique, 10. Passing, 7. We need to get that a little bit higher, I think. But uh, yeah, overall, not bad. 5 for 8, 15 years old. What's he got? Um, yeah, acceleration underpins his overall speed. Lots of room to grow. Versatile. A fair amount of pace, which is a little bit odd for a central midfielder. Uh, tends to not get stuck into rough challenges, but does also dive into tackles, which is a little bit weird. Um, unambitious. Uh, needs to do a better job in marking. Competitive streak and not that consistent. But yeah, I mean, first one... In the top talent, that's not too bad at all. Juan Cerezo, 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 uh, midfield right or defender right, fullback right. One star current ability, four star potential. Juan Cerezo, oh, he's just I get drawn to the physicals and they look really crap. But uh, balanced technical young fullback, crossing eleven, passing fourteen, tackling eleven, technique fourteen, decisions thirteen, bravery twelve. Uh, a host of nines and tens in there as well. Determination, flair, work rate, uh, first touch, natural fitness, balance. I mean, he's marking. He's not a dreadful starting uh, sort of wide midfielder right back. But, yeah, the physical's a little bit weak, especially with pace and acceleration being so low. But uh, in terms of the pros, balance the normal personality, lots of room to grow, a committed player, uh, passing ability underlines his technical prowess, yeah, very, very good at passing from that side. Uh, both footed, can play in a couple of positions, but has a poor jumping reach. Uh, needs to be taught to be an effective aerial presence and needs to add some consistency. But overall, not too bad for Cerezo. Uh, next up, David Vega, a centre-back. Uh, one and a half star, current ability, four star potential. So should be the best starting player that we've looked at so far. David Vega... Yeah, not bad. Light-hearted, technical, promising centre-back. Six foot, pace 11, fitness 12, jumping reach 10, agility 10, acceleration 11, teamwork 11, positioning 12, determination 16, bravery 17, aggression 10, crossing 12, free kick-taking 12, technique 13. I mean, he's pretty decent. Needs to improve his marking for eight. But that's not a bad start. Very determined, which I do really enjoy. Again, concentration, I'd like to be double figures. But, uh, yeah, I do like that. Strongest attributes is bravery. He won't go into situations and players may not. Uh, he's got a good character. A committed player, versatile. But uh, needs to improve his passing. Not consistent. And needs to be taught to be an effective aerial presence, which is true at centre-back. You do need to be taught to be an effective aerial presence. Light-hearted, technical, promising centre-back. Vega, David Vega, not too bad at all, to be honest. Right, next up, goalkeeper, which weirdly isn't even the best goalkeeper in this group. But we've got two good goalkeepers. Agapito, one-star current ability, three-and-a-half-star potential. Agapito is a balanced, assertive young goalkeeper. 16 years old, uh, handling 12, passing 11, reflexes 11, rushing out 14, aggression 16, concentration 13, determination 14, agility 11, balance 13, jumping reach 13. It's a very, very good starting block. A very, very good starting block. I think composure and decisions definitely need to go up and anticipation. But other than that, it's not a real bad start for a goalkeeper and to think we've got a goalkeeper better than him in this intake is quite impressive um yeah good personality a consistent performer his speed at coming off his line is good at sweeping up any through balls okay well his pace is seven his acceleration is seven so i assume that's judging his rushing out tendencies but we'll see um lacking a bit of a ability for this level and has a competitive streak as well not too bad for agapito the goalkeeper. Um, next up, attacking midfield centre, centre forward or right winger, Antonio Gonzalez Hernandez. One star current ability, four star potential. Okay, fairly professional, physical, young attacking midfielder. P 
Pace 13, Fitness 16, Agility 11, Acceleration 15, very quick, Aggression 15, Dribbling 10, Finishing 11, First Touch 11. But again, a host of like nines. Lots, I'm seeing lots of nines in the mentals. And then heading nine, passing eight, technique six, not bad. A bit small, five foot seven, but jumping reach of six means he's not going to do very much. But he looks to be a bit more of a nimble player. Again, only 15 years old, right footed. But uh, what have we got here? Acceleration underlines his speed. He's got lots of room to grow, fairly professional. Uh, a lot of pace, versatile. Needs to improve in his long shots, which is three. Um, not at the right level, inconsistent, and has some technical limitations, which must be overcome if he is to progress. Okay, well, that is very interesting. Not bad. Not This, this intake, maybe I'm in a positive mood, but this intake is, is looking pretty good. Pablo Vicente, midfield centre, one-star currency, four-star potential. Pablo Vicente... Isn't bad. Balanced technical young midfielder. He's 15 years old again. Uh, first touch 10, heading 14, passing 11, technique 15, work rate 11, vision 13, teamwork 12, determination 11, decisions 11, aggression 13, balance 14, fitness 11. So he can't tackle, but he's a good passer, good vision, uh, very good technique. So he'll be able to find through balls as well. Five for eight. Which isn't dreadful. He's fit. He's balanced. He's going to be hard to get off the ball. Yeah, I think he's going to be pretty useful. Very consistent as well, which is awesome. Uh, technical ability is the hallmark of his player's approach to the game. Potential ability could improve with decent normal balance personality. Good in the air. Versatile. Now, it needs to improve his crossing. I don't think so from central midfield. That's fine. And needs to get to the gym to work on his fitness and, yeah, his overall athleticism. Yeah, I agree with that. Physicals need to improve. A very good base, though, for a central midfielder from Paolo Vicente, which is very, very nice indeed. And then we get into the elite talents. And I did say it gave us an A in goalkeeper and striker, and they are our best players at the top of this group. But first up, we'll look at Javier Martinez. Midfield right, one-star currency, five-star potential. Javier Martinez, it's the physicals, isn't it, that just make him stand out. Acceleration 13, agility 13, balance 14, fitness 16, pace 12, all really good. Free kick taking 11, technique 14, crossing 10, dribbling 9, leadership 10, bravery 10, flair 9, off the ball 9, work rate 8, passing 8. So again, it's a lot of 9, 8, 9, 10s, and then a, a spattering of good, good attributes in there. But yeah, the physicals do look very, very good. Unambitious physical young winger. His strongest attribute is naturally fit, so he's not going to get hurt. Uh, could improve a lot in the future. Fair amount of pace. Can play in a couple of positions. Uh, needs to refine his positional sense. Unambitious and doesn't look to further himself. Very inconsistent. And needs to do a better job when it comes to marking. Again, as a right winger, I think we can look past his lack of marking. But not too bad from Javier Martinez. Overall, not too bad of an intake, to be honest. I, I don't think we've looked at one person who isn't going to get a contract, in my mind. But we'll see. Um, Centre-back, Ivan Chumilas. One-star current ability, five-star potential. Can play either full-back position as well. A fairly professional leader, young centre-back. So, strength is a bit shit at four. Pace 12, fitness 12, acceleration 10, aggression 15, bravery 17, Concentration 7, Decisions 12, Determination 13, Positioning 11, Marking 13, Tackling 17, Heading 10. Yeah, he's got the makings of a, a very good centre-back. Just up the strength, maybe up the balance, up a bit of acceleration, uh, get that concentration higher, and you've got yourselves a making of a, a pretty good centre-back there. Uh, in terms of pros, good timing in the challenge. Uh, could improve a lot in the future, a fairly professional manner, good at marking and versatile. Uh, knee, lack of composure hinders any skill element to his game. Okay, uh, so maybe not a ball playing defender, but we'll see. Competitive streak, uh, not at the right level, a little bit inconsistent, and needs to get to the gym to work on his overall athleticism, which again, I agree with, but not bad. This is very looking very, very good. Right, we're going to look at the goalkeeper next. David Padron, uh, one and a half star current ability, five star potential. David Padron. Doesn't look too bad at all. Fairly determined, shot-stopping, promising goalkeeper. Uh, handling 13, kicking 13, punching 13, reflexes 14, vision 12, determination 16, concentration 11, natural fitness 12, agility 12. 
Acceleration 10, Pace 10, Command of Area 10, Rushing Out Tendency 10, One on Ones 9, Aerial Reach 8. Yeah, not bad at all. I do like the look of this. A lot of room to grow in the future, fairly determined. Uh, ability to shot stop using his reflexes and only one negative that he's not currently at this level that is very impressive to see he could have a very very bright future have we found joe page's replacement as joe page gets older we need someone to step in and take his place so maybe that is david padron we'll keep an eye out on him next up though pedro morea the very gifted pedro morea as a striker one and a half star currency five star potential Pedro Morea looks very nice. Physicals are a little bit weak, but he looks good. Very good. We've brought through potentially another Wonder Kid striker here. Uh, professional intelligent striker. Uh, I mean, where do I start? Let's start on the mental attributes. Aggression, 16. Anticipation, 11. Bravery, 16. Composure, 14. Decisions, 11. Determination, 13. Flair, 13. Leadership, 11. Off the ball, 14. Vision, 11. Wow, that is impressive for the mental attributes. Technique, 13. First touch, 14. Finishing, 13. Dribbling, 10. Free kick taking, 10. Physicals are a little bit poor. Uh, acceleration, 9. Agility, 11. Balance, 3. Jumping reach, 9. Fitness, 11. Pace, 7. Stamina, 10. Strength, 3. But, I mean, he's going to be brilliant. If he, can, if he doesn't get a big injury, touch wood, if he doesn't get a big injury, those mentals won't go down and it will just help him grow everything else which is amazing. Really, really good. So professional individual. Uh, he's brave. Lots of room to grow. Uh, balance and ability on the ball makes him a skillful player. He needs to work. Lack of battle. Well, hang on. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Strongest area of the game. Balance and ability on the ball make him a fairly skillful player. Cons. Lack of balance can make the player look unsure when in control of the ball. It's because his agility is good, but his balance is low. Uh, not at the right level, a little bit inconsistent, a little bit injury prone um, and could do with being taught how to be an effective aerial presence. So there we go. What an intake that is. Let me know your favourite down the bottom uh, underneath the co underneath the comment section, in the comment section, underneath the description uh, of the video. But yeah, I think potentially for the first time ever, every single player may get a senior contract normally there's one that's just really shit and doesn't get one but i think this one i've seen positivity in absolutely everybody which is incredible which is really really good a really good intake again absolutely superb i mean the board have been pumping money into it we're now state-of-the-art training facilities excellent youth exceptional academy coaching and exceptional youth recruitment as well which has been awesome i mean i don't know because now the um the voting has been done and stuff for the new the new owner can we ask for anything else personal uh staff i mean i might ask for an affiliate uh we should learn to do affiliate to get first option on players with a good club with good youth recruitment we have enough partnerships it is we don't need another one the fans are behind me um after all i've done for the club it's really important we're left behind by our rivals okay i'm not going to win them round we'll just leave it there don't want to piss them off too much right there we go um youth intake day done a really good intake really happy with that we're near the end of the season it's all going to depend i'm not going to come straight back for the next champions league group as i said i want to keep these going keep them coming out quickly get through the seasons as well keep progressing I, although we're we're getting better and better i still think we're quite far away from toppling real madrid and barcelona and also progressing to win the Champions League. I mean, we're in the quarterfinals, so it's not out of the question to do it relatively soon. But, yeah, we'll have to wait uh, and see how that goes. So I think we come back at the end of the season unless we get to the semi-finals of the Champions League. I think that's a good deal. But thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. I'm absolutely loving this. I'm loving the stream save. I'm just loving Football Manager 2024. For me, it's easily the best version of the game because of how the tactics work and how you can really exploit certain things and see movement in the game. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.